what's up guys uh welcome to another video today we'll be doing um an ama piano mixing and mastering so um let's get into it but before that uh, don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell uh you all know that good stuff um yeah man so this is the bit that we have so far So we're gonna select the loudest part of the song which is this one here and then after that we're just gonna uh, do the mixing and the mother story let's go First things first, you can see that uh, we are we are clipping, so we just gotta uh, adjust everything to make sure that we are in the safe zone. And the safe zone, as uh, you know, it's uh, between minus three dB to minus six dB. So let's go. So since we have a hard hitting uh, lock drum, we're gonna make sure that the lock drum we put in soft clipper. All right. As you can see, now the soft clipper <coughs> uh, has disabled or has disciplined the lock the lock drum. So it attenuated the lock drum, it's hitting as hard but it's not clipping. If I remove this, uh, it's gonna clip. So now, it's fine like the way it sounds. I added this plugin for extra low, low frequency uh, impact. Now let's locate our sub, which is this one here. This one has to be center. Yeah, I think we're in the safe zone. In Amma Piano we don't do too much, so this is just basically it, and then uh, hey. 
the snare I'm gonna put it center right just a bit this one I need to increase the volume Kick must be sent up. So on the kick, we're going to add such chain. <coughs> As a matter of fact, on the kick, let's add uh, let's not let's not add side chain. Let's add the lock drum. So I'm gonna side chain the lock drum to the kick. I've been to the to the sub. So I'm going to side chain the base the, um, the lock drum to the sub instead of the kick to the sub. So open limiter. Make sure that you click on the the lock drum. Well, that's played. Increase the threshold and the ratio. Make it around 6.01 and then continue decreasing the ratio. Until you hear, uh, until you hear that point where when the lock drum hits the bass ducks, let me just let this one uh, reduce that release a bit to make it tight to the kick well, I think that's basically it we can increase it let me increase the bass so that you may hear what the lock drum does so whenever the Lock drum hits the bass ducks. Let's start with a with a preset. But before that, we're just gonna do this. I'm going to add a bus compressor. Remember to gain stage. Whenever it adds volume, you must gain stage so that it, re it remains the same volume, it doesn't add any volume.
I just get hit in for me, so we're just gonna decrease the markup. And then we're just gonna play around with the, the threshold until we get to that sweet, sweet spot. We don't wanna do too much. That's about it. So it's a um, slow attack and fast release. Slow attack and fast release bring the punch, the punchiness to the song. Now let's open the stereo image. Again, we don't want to do too much. Focus is always the mid range. Whenever I mix a song, my focus is always the mid range. I'm just gonna add a bit of shine here and there. Without saturation, with saturation. Now I can finally add the volume. You can use a maximizer or a limiter file. In this instance, I'm gonna use. Uh, I'm gonna try out a limiter. It seems like I didn't install it. It's a. Uh, it's called L2. Yeah, it seems like I didn't install it. It's fine. So we'll just use uh, we'll use uh, a maximizer instead. What I do is um, I boost it up until 
that level where it starts clipping and then when I hear that it's clipping I pick it off until I find that sweet spot Yeah man, so that's basically a quick uh, tutorial on how to mix and master Ama Piano. Like I said, mis mixing and mastering Ama, Ama Piano, uh, more especially commercial Ama Piano, you know this type of style, it's not really that hard. Um, you just get to control um, your drums, control your lock drum, control the lock drum but make sure that it's dominant and yet it's not that clipping and you're done. So yeah. Uh, thank you for tuning in don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell and all that good stuff uh yeah man see you on the next one cheers okay one last tip um after mixing it and mastering it like this you find that i make about four to five uh versions of mixes um this is by whenever i make a mix sorry whenever i make a mix i go to check uh, my reference track listen to your reference track and hear the difference between my mix and professionally mixed track and then whatever uh, difference i hear i uh, adjust it accordingly and then do the same process over and over again until I find that my sound and that professionally released track are similar. So yeah, that's uh, one trick that works best. Cheers.